Red Borsi at topvelocity.net. You can do a pitch notes here, Jack. Pair them up with Cody Hall. Take them both into their leg lifts. You can see Cody out of his leg lift, big aggressive mover, starting a lot of momentum. Um, coming up into the lift, Jack's balancing up and leaning back. You know, this is a position I would want to get into down here when I have all this momentum like Cody, which you see happening here. So it's it's countering the momentum. So a lot of guys, they start into these delayed trunk positions or these tilted trunk positions really early, um, and it's not going to have the effect of what, you know, say Cody Hall is doing in his trunk position and counter in a counter movement against um, all this momentum he's building. So... Um, it's it's like taking the whip, right, and throwing the end of the whip back, ready for the handle to be thrown forward, but you're never throwing the handle forward. And it's really the countering of that movement, even in the whip. It's the, the peak of the whip going back uh, should be happening, the peak of the handle going forward. And we're not seeing that with Jack. So by the time Jack starts to go, you can see when he gets to where Cody is, his trunk actually wants to start going forward or his arms actually wanting to go up cody countered that movement so the moment he's about to peak his arm and and trunk are going back at that moment creating that kind of whip effect so when he drives here everything loads against itself so what happens is the hips power through from that leg drive and all that momentum and it was the perfect moment the arm was cocking up the trunk was being pulled back. So it's that perfection. It's like we talk about it with the rubber band. Like to fire a rubber band, you not only have to pull the end back, but you have to stabilize the other end at the equal amount of force. For example, if I pull the end harder than I stabilize the other side, then I wind up losing control of the rubber band. Or if I barely pull the end, and then I push out the other side really aggressively, once again, I lose control, and it's not going to stretch and fire the band as effectively. It's a similar thing with our muscles. That's why you're seeing Cody countering the movement. You're seeing the trunk lean occurring as the hips and lower half are moving and building power forward. Okay, And that's how he gets into this optimal hip-to-shoulder separation position. When Jack gets to that position, you have a similar, uh, you know, I mean, as far as you see the, the, the trunk delayed, you see some separation, but you just know that there's not the power underneath the hips that Cody has, uh, mainly because we didn't see the dynamics. We just saw that the hip push out and it kind of everything fall at the front foot as opposed with Cody. It started momentum and accelerated. You see him peak and drive the front foot. So it's going to be the differences of, of more torque, or just like in the rubber band analogy, Cody's put a lot more force back on that rubber band, or in the whip analogy, more force through the handle as the end of the whip loaded back. So he's putting more energy into the system. Uh, Jack is not putting the energy in the system. So he's hitting front foot here, and you don't see the trunk doing much work. It's just rotating and staying very vertical. So if we took front foot drag, and we looked at the spinal plane, and then he took him to pitch release, you don't see a lot of movement. You would, I mean, you won't see a lot of um, you know degrees uh, covered or distance covered. We do the same thing with Cody at front foot strike. Let me zoom in right here. And we look at that spinal plane, and then we watch him to pitch release, and then we look at that spinal plane position. Look how much more degrees or distance covered, uh, which is the biggest correlation I've seen in velocity is at front foot strike. How much energy is traveling forward in that trunk to pitch release? You're seeing similar movement. If you put Jack Cody together, besides Jack being a little bit uh, an early tucker, you see the same movement going forward. Cody, though, obviously getting a little bit more exhortation because that just means more energy going forward, but very similar on how they go to pitch release. 
all the way to the end. Also, too, you see Cody <clears throat> a little bit more linear with the front leg force vector, just more of an indication that he was stabilizing more energy coming down the mound. He had to get in a more linear position to break more energy. So <clears throat> Jack just needs to go back to learn how you need to counter the trunk tilts back uh, with all the momentum and linear energy that you're building in your lower half to front foot strike like Cody to maximize <clears throat> energy up the chain, energy through hip to shoulder separation, so you get all that trunk power going forward.